All right. We have some breaking news from down under. Team Teal, we've got Ella Meehan, campaign manager with Team Teal through the Women Can Organization for Orvarian Research. Ellie, you there? Uh, yeah. Can uh, you hear me? Yes, we can hear you clearly. What time is it down in Australia, if we can ask? Uh, it's 1 p.m., so just settling, just waiting for our lunch break. <laughs> okay, okay. You going to have some fish and chips, or where are you going to be in downtown Melbourne and have some grub? <laughs> There's lots of good food in Melbourne, so I've got plenty of options. Excellent. Can you tell us briefly just what's going on, maybe just a short PSA? Um, uh, Team Teal started in 2010 by an organization through Women Can. There was a gentleman that started it, and can you just give us a little brief history until the current day? Absolutely. So starting from the start, Team Teal is a campaign that was created by Duncan McPherson OAM, who lost his wife, Lynn, to ovarian cancer in 2010. And in failing health, Lynn and her family began fundraising for ovarian cancer research, an initiative that Duncan McPherson then connected with his passion for harness racing, co-founding Team Teal with fellow owners and trainers Michael Taranto and Jim Connolly. The campaign expanded from Victoria to New South Wales in 2016, to all Australian states in 2017, and internationally to New Zealand in 2018. So, how can so people? Well, how can people make donations? You had sent me a link which we're going to provide to people internationally. Um, it, can people set up teams? Can people make individual donations? And how can they get those donations to you if they're, I guess, coming from stateside? So it's very easy. We've just got our website, which is www.teamteal.org.au, and there are a number of different options on the website. So there's the donate page, which I have provided, and that's just giving a straight donation to the organization. Or you can set up a community fundraising page and then put that out to your friends and family and try and get multiple donations yourself. We also have another page where we've set up uh, fundraising pages, so we've got 20 Flames Women Ambassadors this year from all across Australia and New Zealand, and each Flames Woman has her own fundraising page, so if you would like to personally support a specific Flames Woman who you may be following or know, then you can also do it that way. So is it broken down by the states in, I guess, Australia, and then the regions in the NZ, or is it broken down by the racing commissions? How exactly is it broken down with the individual groups? So we basically have um, each state in Australia, so Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria, Tasmania, South Australia and Western Australia are all taking part and they participate as a state. So every Reigns woman who wins in that state, the state harness racing body donates $200 a win, and then Tabcorp matches that and also donates $200 a win. And then New Zealand is treated as the whole of New Zealand, um, and they donate $100 a win over there, and that's matched by Woodland Stud giving $100 a win for any Rainsman wins in New Zealand. So you have three different revenue streams. People, people can make direct donations, you have the donations by the commissions, and then you have the matching donations. Is that correct? Yeah, the, well, we classify it as two streams. We've either got the wins, so that's every Reigns woman who has a win across the six weeks of the campaign, so that's the 1st of February to the 14th of March. Any Reigns woman who wins, we have money donated to us by our partners. Then there's community fundraising, which includes things like making a donation on our website or supporting a Reigns woman or doing your own community fundraising. Excellent. Let's talk numbers. From 2010 until the present, do you have a breakdown, I guess, of a total aggregate amount that's been raised and then, I guess, the amount that was raised last year that you want to build on to this year? So from 2010 till 2016, Team Teal existed very much as just one dinner a year. It was called Night at the Trot, and that's how it first started, and that was just in Victoria. Then from 2016 onwards, the Women's Cancer Foundation took over running everything to do with Team Teal, and they've been running Team Teal, and then we merged with the Women's Cancer Foundation a few years ago, which is how it came to us. 
the best thing I can say is last year's stats. So last year we had 260 range women compete across Australia and New Zealand. They ended up getting 451 wins, which raised $164,600. Wow. Wow, that's amazing. Well, we look forward to publicizing everything that you do in the next six weeks. Hopefully, we can bring some overseas money to your accounts and, I guess, make that fat and break that goal of 165000 down under. And we look forward to working with you guys in the future basically every single year. So we wish you guys the best of luck. But next week, we're going to be talking to Mike Cushing about PSAs. But, again, Ella, we appreciate your time and wish you guys the best of luck with Team Teal. Thank you so much.